Last week we got a super wee film uh, sent to us via YouTube about a Brazilian deaf blind man and a sort of subutio board that was being used to let him understand the football that he was watching. Obviously a Brazil fan. And the Scots are passionate about the football and we at Deaf Life Scotland thought we would just make a wee film to let you see how one of our members, Clark Stevens, accesses football on a weekly basis with his club Celtic and also in the pub to watch the Argentina-Switzerland game. So a couple of little clips for you. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> Clark Stevens is Celtic daft. He never misses a game at his beloved Parkhead and he followed the team all the way to the UEFA Cup final in Seville. Clark, however, can't see the action. He's blind and deaf and relies on the services of deafblind Scotland. Clark's sight failed in his 20s. His hand is now the pitch. With the action outlined and signed by Christine, he never misses a second. Christine even communicates the shouts of the crowd, so he knows exactly what's going on. Well, there you are. That's Clark watching. Not the most exciting game, one would think, in the World Cup so far. But just to let you see how Christine and Clark use two hands to describe a game of football. You might have noticed in the Celtic games there was a lot more movement and excitement going on. A, that's because watching Celtic can be very exciting and B, because in the early days Christine tried to shove in all the information she could. It's become a lot more refined now and a small movement means a great deal to Clark. For example, A is Argentina, S is Switzerland and that's all the information he needs and he gets what he wants from football. I hope you've enjoyed watching Clark, Christine and the World Cup, Deathline Scotland's way.